This is a new iPad Pro, equipped with the new M1 chip. And then this is the new Magic Keyboard. And so in today's video, I'm gonna go ahead and show you all the hidden keys and hidden functions that this keyboard has. Very similar to like hit, hitting like function keys and such. You can do sort of unique shortcuts on this keyboard that will unlock some additional goodies. So with that said, sit back, relax, and here are the 10 most useful things that every Magic Keyboard owner must know about their Magic Keyboard. Let's get started. Starting off is adjusting the keyboard brightness. You can actually adjust the backlit. Simply just go into settings, then general, select keyboard, and then tap on hardware keyboard. And here you can find the brightness slider. And then if you're not a fan of how this mouse cursor looks like whenever you're using it, if you want to adjust the size, you can easily do so by going into accessibilities and then go into and go down to where it says pointer control. Here's where you could adjust the size of the pointer, as you can see right there. You could even disable or enable the animation that it goes away automatically. There's other settings here too. You could also increase the contrast. And if you want to, you could change the color as well. So now it's a blue cursor with like a blue outline ring. And you go also control the scroll speed as well if you want to accelerate it or decelerate it. And you have other nifty options here as well, like the double tap if you want to adjust that. Now for number three is using the trackpad. It's actually really easy. Of course, obviously, single finger, you can move stuff around, navigate the display. If you go on the top and you scroll down, this will bring down your notifications. If you go on the right corner and do that again, this will bring down control center. Long press, of course, will allow you to toggle between different modes as well, right here on the control center. And you can also just click on the battery life percentage and this will also toggle down the control center. And then on the other side, notifications. And you can also go down here and it'll highlight this little white bar. Click on that, it'll clear up the screen as well. And then if you wanna bring down docs or bring up docs, just do this. And here's your docs of some of the previously open apps as well as those favorite apps you have docked. And then of course you may long press on applications as well. Now for number four is the two finger shortcuts. So on the home page, by bringing down your two fingers down like so, this will bring up spotlight search. And then of course you can use two fingers to scroll up and down on Safari or any other application that supports the scrolling. You may also pinch use the pinch gesture to zoom in and zoom out and copy and paste by simply selecting the text with two fingers and just do that. Now moving along with three fingers this time. Three sw fingers swipe up will take you back to the home page. Multitasking, you can also swipe your three fingers from the left and the right side and go to the previously open app and just jump between applications like so. To activate app switcher, move up, hold it midway and there you have it. Now you may have noticed with the Magic Keyboard, there is no physical escape key, but there's a way you could actually add it. By simply opening up settings, go into general, click on keyboard, and select hardware keyboard, and choose modifier keys. And just click on escape key instead of the other command. And there you have it. Now you have an escape key on the Magic Keyboard. Now this keyboard of course does have commands, so here are some command shortcuts. Command H will always take you to the home page. Command spacebar will show you or hide search fields. Command tab will switch to the next most recently used app that you previously opened. Command shift three will take a screenshot. Command shift four will immediately open up markup to view or edit. Command option D will show or hide your docs. And depending on the app that you're using, if you're unfamiliar what kind of shortcuts it has, by tapping shift and command, it'll actually show you all the nifty shortcuts right here and you can also slide between the other pages. So if there's an app that you use the most, you will find this menu extremely helpful, especially if it could increase productivity speed. Now the USB-C port that's down here, unfortunately it does not support data transfer, but it does support power to power and charge the iPad. So you can always just utilize this port and free up your main USB-C port or Thunderbolt port if it's the latest iPad Pro. So you can still plug your dock on this port and still be able to charge your iPad on the other port. 
and no it doesn't allow you to reverse charge so unfortunately you cannot charge your phone on this one you can only power the ipad and then in terms of protecting your ipad since the edges are exposed you can always get one of these very slim case which if you notice there actually is ports right here that allows data to be transferred from all the keyboard and touchpad inputs these things are extremely helpful especially since they lower the risk of causing damage serious damage and harm to your ipad in case it does fall out of the magic keyboard case and there you have it that is basically everything that there is to know about your magic keyboard equipped on your ipad if you got some good useful information out of this video i greatly appreciate it if you guys leave this video a like as well as get subscribed as i got more tech content very similar to this coming out in the near future and of course links to everything will be in the video description down below including these accessories but for more feel free to watch these two videos right over here as that video is a video that youtube is recommending specifically for you other one is just a video that was recently uploaded to the channel take care bye bye now